Why ever would he want that? Man will be thrilled. Come on. to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. <laughs> How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay? From Leshens? That has no bearing. I asked you a question. How many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slicks between his legs. Come on, people. So, how do you go with this thing? Ah! 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 I've had enough of living. Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here. In that case, come to me, Succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... As... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! 
I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I have no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Clumsy. It's clear as the eternal fire. Oh. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. You're very present. Ugh, Ugh. There's no fucking shit. Well. Kisses your ass. My wife won't believe it. I'm a channel. Back there in Lockwood. Lots of blue jerkins. And 
interesting. Look at the stand. Leave me be or I shall call my husband. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Ah, yes. Well, hello, Elsie. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's me. advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. from you I've no clue first time I've laid eyes on them maybe well recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count hold on where's Miss Merigold you would come alone miss if not for him that trio would have dragged you in for questioning the tall one was Valdo Morris works for the witch hunters I you're surely right miss I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel bud Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weird. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to them. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vogelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagel Bud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagel Bud fears the help's being watched. If the hunters are after Albert, I doubt some merrymaking will distract them. Gerald, a ball at the Vagel Buds is hardly some merrymaking. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from the Zair. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. We won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Yeah. 
health maven. Huh. Oh, damn. Rain. Fuck. What do you expect in this climate? Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Shave your mug and bugger off. Said a defender their father. Geralt! Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame he didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. But how could he? With that Hello. scrawny harlot. No use pretending you don't know. Is that any way to treat an old mate? 
Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. I see. I've had enough. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Trace, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly why we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret, it won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Oh, you dye your hair? The vagal oh, no. Albert Vagelbud. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well. Oh, by the gods! A second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Well? A palace is a nice mask. 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 Yes, darling. Albert Vagelbud? Fume, my sweet. I can be Adolf Valentino. Ah. <laughs> Oh, 
Beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? Still, sir. Beg your pardon? Truth is, you're a very champion from the black one. Shut up! He's dead. Do you think he's not been seen around town in some time? Word is he's made some enemies. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another night without four. What my husband is super. Bagel buds alone maintain a certain standard in regard to elegant perceptions. Very true. Others claim it's been. Dreadfully sorry. Lakes of supper again. I'm getting old. My husband is super. Your reputation proceeds, you get And then. A colossal Mark boom! Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yes. Nice mask. Rawr! <laughs> Albert Vagobud. No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. Rawr! Oh my, count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. But our hunting hounds are simply the best. I'm getting old. <laughs> so, how goes it? Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Time to invest in rubies. Mark my words, I'll kick you out. Yet another night without whore. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Not in the mood. <laughs> Not in the mood to win. The capital of the world, yet they did such a battle. to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. 
Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Tris, wait! Geralt! Coming? Careful. Miss Marigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Here you are. So, about this private showing. 
Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get ruined. <sighs> Doubt it. Never learn. Begin to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. It needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Not so fast, Roach. She cast no spells o on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. Yes. It's I heard on. the legends. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. 
Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? Mm. But we... Not your concern. Back to your post. <sighs> Regards from Siggy Reuven. Scrum before I lose my patience. <sighs> I'm street covered in guts after that whiz man blew his gizzard. <sighs> Won't find any better. Take care of him! This oh. fuck is mealy nugget! Oh. Oh. was made for loving. What do you reckon? How long will I have the runs off that roast rat? <laughs> Arms for the poor? In life, you gotta take risks and not give back. I'm telling you for the last time. Go away! Open up. Often. Why aren't you curious? You yourself looking for work, perhaps? No, I just know them. Usually not all that willing to get their hands dirty. Don't know them well, then. A hounded, hungry mage, he's desperate as any man. Not about to be fussy when taking on work. Novigrad's a city of opportunities. Chances to be seized. You should grab one, too. You should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said. Take it. 